What's going on YouTube? So I love buying and trying new gear for off-roading and so that is exactly what I'm doing here. Um, this is going to be an unboxing and just a look at the Max Trax Hitch. Uh, Hitch 50 it says. So basically this is a, uh, a hitch for a soft shackle. One of these. Pretty neat concept. Um, so Basically, it's got a hole for a soft shackle in there, and this part here is rounded to uh, keep the, uh, the, the bend in there from being too extreme. So you get more of a rounded edge, which is going to be better for a soft shackle, do less damage. Um, anyway, I'm excited to try it out. Uh, this thing is a bit pricey, though. It was like $250, not including uh, you know, shipping and whatnot. Um, Anyway, let's check it out. It's like an opening an iPhone or something, geez. That is cool. Working load limit of 19,400 pounds, 8,800 kilograms. Man, that thing is solid. Anyway, you see how it has that, it's almost like a ball is on the end there for specifically for that soft shackle. Let's see how it works with my gator jaw here. Pretty cool. That is pretty neat. So, I ha right now I have um monster hook uh the swivel hook on the back of the Jeep and I mean that works fine and all but what concerns me about that is the hook whenever it's extended um, like let's say the hook is laying in this like this and when you put um, a line on it or something it's gonna go out here well if you have any side low at all that's gonna put a lot of stress on it this way and it's not really designed for that it's made to you know be pulled straight back that's where the soft shackle comes into play here. This, you can really, you're not going to sideload a soft shackle. It's, you, you can, you know, it's okay if it's got some downward pressure, upward, side, either side, or straight back, it's going to be fine. And uh, this thing is definitely solid, so... I mean, I'm not going to go out and purposely get stuck, but, you know, if I do, I will be sure to record that. Um, now, you do also have, like on my Jeep, I have two uh, places with um, some bow shackles on the back, but they're not centered, so, you know, this is centered, which, I mean, it may not matter, but I like to have options, and I like buying cool new gear, so, anyway... If you are wondering what this thing looks like, it is, it is pretty cool. And I can't tell you how solid this is, my god. Alright, well let's go stick it in the Jeep and see how it looks. If I can remember what key goes in here. Hmm. 
Oh, got it first try. Oh, just to show you what I was talking about. Well, let me not lose that little O-ring as I let it wander away. Anyway, what I was talking about with side loading is, I mean, I don't know how this thing may be strong enough to take it, I don't know, but you, basically you don't want a lot of pressure pulling going that way. You want the pressure going straight back. And, you know, a lot of those hitches with the, the bow shackles on the end, you can turn them this way, and that way you have movement side to side, kind of like this, but you don't have any upward or downward movement without, you know, putting pressure on that pin there. And obviously this one doesn't even have a, you know, holes for mounting uh, like that. But this guy, you don't need it. Go. Oh, nope. We'll have to do that, uh, that hole right there then. The other one, I just don't, not quite enough. It bulges out here and prevents me from going further. So we'll just do right there. Forgive me, I should have put my helmet cam on. So I'm one-handed here. If you're looking for a locking hitch pin, I think this is called Infinite Rule or something, and I love these things. They, it has held up way better than any other locking hitch pin I've had. Don't rust or anything. Very solid. Alright, let's see how that looks. Well, it looks like a big silver thing sticking out the back. I don't know if I'll leave that like that or maybe just carry it in the back. But, here's where this thing comes into play. Thread my soft shackle through here. Easier said than done one-handed. There we go. All right. And there we go. Now we have a recovery point in the center. Hindered not by any side loading or anything. I don't know if that's supposed to be a rhino or what. Anyway, pretty cool. May come in handy one of these days. All right, guys, thanks for watching. If you have any questions about my overpriced hunk of aluminum here, let me know. Thanks for watching.